Hi everyone! So today we are now in the week 4 of quarter 3 and our lesson is about Circa. Let's watch this. We are now in the week 4 of quarter 3 and our topic is about circles, terms related to circle, drawing circles with different radii using a compass. Circles are everywhere. So, ano na ba mga example ng circle na nakikita natin sa ating paligid? Okay, that is the bicycle or wheel of the bicycle our dinner plate o yung plato, our wall clock, bilog na wall clock, Paris wheel, and coins. Ayan. Yan lang yung ilan sa mga example ng circle na nakikita natin sa ating paligid. Therefore, a circle is an important shape in the field of geometry. A circle is a round shape figure that has no corners or edges. In geometry, a circle can be defined as a closed two-dimensional curved shape. Kaya nga, a circle ay hindi natin metuturing na polygon because it has no corners or edges. Pero, it is a closed figure. Ayan, two-dimensional. A circle is a basic two-dimensional shape which is measured in terms of its radius. So, isa sa parts, one of the parts of the circle is a radius. Mamaya natin di-discuss further. The different parts of a circle are explained below in detail. So, below our next slide. A circle is the set of all points in a plane with the same distance from a certain point. This point is called the center of the circle. So, let us find out what are the parts of a circle. So, let us refer to the figure. So, ito ay ang tinatawag nating circle. Then, tingnan ng nasa center. So, yung guhit na yan ay may letter A. So, that is the center. So, kung papangalanan natin ang circle na to, it is center A. So, capital letter. Next. Yung guhit na yan, between C and E, it is called chord. So, ang pangalan ng chord is line segment C because the two points are C and E. So, we have another chord. Another chord is between B and G. So, chord or line segment BG. Let's have another line. So, yung line na yan, between B and F na tumagos sa point A, so it is called diameter. So, diameter yan yung nagahati sa center, nahati. Ayan. So, line segment BF kapag dumaan siya sa center. Next. So, yung guhit na yan between the center, D and A, so, it is called radius. Radius AD. Para maging uniform, pangalanan natin yung line segment mula sa point sa center. So, kapag more than one, since ang guhit natin yung mula sa center, we have one, two, three, four. So, pag more than one, it is called radii. So, pangalanan natin yung iba pang radius. So, A, line segment AB, line segment AF, and line segment AH. So, those are the parts of a circle. So, refer pa rin tayo sa figure na yan, na center A. Let us identify the meaning of the following parts. So, A is the center and the name of the circle is circle A. Next, chord, a line segment joining two points on the circle. So, in circle A, we have line segment CE and line segment BG. So, ito yung mga linya na hindi dumadaan sa center. Ayan. Tumatagos lang siya. Next, diameter is a chord that connects two points on the circle. Every diameter is a chord. So, lahat ng diameter ay chord nga lang. Pagkakaiba niyan, dumadaan siya sa center. Ayan. BF. So, line segment BF is the diameter. Ayan, BF. Mati siya. So, the diameter goes straight across the circle through the 
center. Yan. Pinakamalaking chord ay ang diameter. Next natin, circumference is the distance around the circle. So, kapag kinuha natin ang bilog na yan, uh, distance niyan, ang tawag doon ay circumference. We will extend this later on sa mga iba pa nating topic. Then, radius is a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. So, more than one radius, it is called radii. Then, the radius of a circle is a one half of the diameter. So, meaning kung meron tayong one diameter, meron na tayo dyan two radius. Diba? So, in a circle A, we have line segment AB, line segment AF, AB, AF, then AD, and AH. Ayan. So, kapag marami na, raday na ang tawag ko. Central angle. What is central angle naman? It is an angle formed by the two radii. So, kapag ang two radii nakaform ng angle, ang tawag na doon ay central angle. Ayan. Kapag ang vertex niya ay ang center. So, example natin, yung angle B, B, A, D. Ayan. Yes. Central angle yan. Next is angle B, A, H. Ayan. We have another angle H, A, F. So, dapat three letters. Hindi pwedeng one lang. Hindi pwedeng angle A lang. Kasi, meron tayong tatlo, di ba? Next, inscribe angle as an angle whose vertex is on the circle. In circle A, F, B, G is an inscribe, inscribe angle. So, kung ang vertex niya ay nasa labas at hindi center, katulad ng angle F, B, G, ayan, nasa labas, ito ang vertex niya, nakagawa siya ng isang circle. Ang tawag doon ay inscribe angle. So, let us focus on this figure. So, so yung diameter natin, ito yung buo, di ba? Yung kalahate, radius. Example, kung ang diameter natin is 10 cm, so, meaning, ang sukat ng radius is 5 cm. So, doble ng radius ang diameter. Then, half ng diameter ang radius. Another example, kung ang D or diameter natin is 12 cm, ang radius natin is 6 cm. Next, another example. So, example 1 natin. Example 2 natin. Kung ang radius natin is 5 meters, so ito yung radius, no? ang diameter natin is 10 meters. Ayan. So, nakikita nyo na siguro yung figure ng diameter between diameter and the radius. Ayan. Kalahati ng diameter ang radius, ang sukat. So, from this learning task, titingnan natin itong figure sa lakanan. So, circle with the center M, ayan yung M natin. Name the following. So, ang center natin, of course, center M or point M. Four radii. So, bigyan natin ng isa. Nine segment AM. Kayo na bahal magtuloy sa tatlo pa. Diameter. So, we have one diameter. So, ang diameter natin is? Line segment IH. At least two central angles. So, bigyan natin ng isa. Yung sabi, yung angle na buo na ang vertex na ay nasa center. So, angle A, M, T. Yan. Kayo na magbigay nung dalawa pa. Tatlo yan eh. Inscribe angle. So, yung angle na nabuo sa labas ng vertex. Yan po. So, iyan yun. Nakikita nyo ba yan? Yan. Kayo na magpangalan yan. And then, two chords. So, I will be give one chord. So, line segment, T, C. May isa pa tayo. Kayo na magtuloy. Next, what do the following objects have in common? So, ayan. Ano ba yung number one? So, it is an example of wheel. Number two, <laughs> mukhang compact this, no? Pero, yan ay sample ng symbol. And then, number three is an example of peso cord. So, ano lahat yan? Siyempre, lahat yan ay circle. So, Using your bare hands will not guarantee that you will be able to draw a perfect circle. So, nisan ginagamit natin yung mga plato, yung baso, then bumibilog tayo, di ba? Pero may tamang ginagamit or instrument to draw a circle. 
So, that is called the compass. So, what is a compass? Ayan ang compass. So, may pencil. Then, itong needle na to, yun yung tinutusok para magkaroon ng center. So, hold for a pencil. Then, hinge. Ito yung uh, para dun sa kung gaano kalaki yung bilog. So, mas maganda yung may measurement. Yung gagamitin yung uh, compass. So, here are the steps in drawing circles using a compass. Number one, insert, insert a sharp pencil into the holder of the compass. So, kailangan ng pencil nun. Huwag ball pen kasi para medyo pwede natin burhen. Open the compass on the radius desired for your circle. So, the range, radius of the distance from the center point of the circle to the outer edge. So, kung may uh, measurement yung inyong compass, mas maganda, mas maayos. So, dun magsasabi kung anong gano kalaki uh, centimeters, kung gaano kalaki yung buka ng circle nyo. Then, place the compass number 3 on a piece of paper. Where do you like the center center point of the circle to be? So, yung point na mismo te, uh, para pang-ikot. Doon na yung center na iikot nyo yung pencil. 4. Place the point of the pencil on the paper. Yan. Hold it na wag masyado mahigpet. <laughs> Rotate the compass to mark a circle on the paper with the pencil. Draw without lifting the point of the compass of the paper. Siyempre, draw it within 360 degrees para bilog na bilog yung nagawa niyong compass. Yan. So, the reference of this learner's packet or module is from Pivot 4A Learner's Packet Quarter 3, Week 4. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1,000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmen. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!